G'day everybody, it's Paul here from Flycam. I thought today I'll make a little video on how to connect the Team Rebel Design Beholder Lite uh, GoPro 3 brushless gimbal that uh, mounts to the Phantom, uh, how to connect it to your computer. Now I'm using Windows 7 64-bit Pro uh, and you'll find on the uh, forum here on the, on the thread uh, if you scroll down there's some cool videos there, there's my uh, video of how to assemble a gimbal but down here you find the, uh, the latest GUI, uh, GUI. You click there and that takes you to this website and you need to download this zip file, 2.4 megs. Once you've downloaded it, just put it on your desktop like so. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to connect your Phantom. So we're just going to go over here. Um, we got the little micro USB cable and this is my Phantom. I'm just going to turn it around. I've actually got my board mounted uh, 90 degrees. I'm going to uh, just connect my little um, oops, uh, little cable in there, if I can get it the right way. A little bit fiddly for big fingers. And okay, so I've got my micro USB cable in. This is my Video TX uh, and the gimbal. It's all powered by the Phantom's battery and I get about oh, six minute flight. Now, it's going to put that down there. So I've got my micro USB cable connected to the, uh, the board, the gimbal board, and I've got the other end here, which is just a normal USB uh, cable, which is going to plug into the computer. Before I plug it into the computer, I need to boot the uh, Phantom up. So you get your video TX, oh sorry, your, um, your Phantom TX, uh, turn it on. Um, you know, I've got this uh, left switch all the way up to the top there, and I'm just on Addy mode there. So turn your uh, little Phantom TX on. And then you need to find your battery and get the wires and uh, put the battery in and boot the Phantom up. So now the Phantom is booting. I'm just going to shove all the wires in there. Now, I've actually got two uh, wires here that I'm going to connect. Um, that's going to boot the, uh, the little gimbal up. So I, I like to do that because I can boot the Phantom up first and then once the Phantom is just about ready to fly, I can plug in the power for the gimbal. Now we're just going to wait there and the gimbal is going to boot up. Just takes a few seconds and I think it's away. There we go. So the gimbal is off and running. Now I've also got my tilt set up uh, which we can uh, go over later on. So if I tilt the knob you'll see the gimbal uh, will, will tilt. And of course, this is just a stock uh, transmitter and I just got in the back here and I unsoldered the uh, little potential meter and I went and got myself a 5K linear um, uh, potential meter and I drilled a hole and I put some wires from the uh, potential meter down to the little circuit board with the one that was uh, soldered on. So now I've got a knob at the front there. <clears throat> All right, so I'll just put that down. Now the next thing we've got to do is plug it into the computer. So we get this end and I'm just going to reach across here and plug it into the computer and you'll hear the computer go doo -doo -doo. Now if your computer can't find a driver, what you may have to do is find a driver for it. Now I'm just in my device manager here and you can see uh, on the COM ports I've got Silicon Labs CP210X USB to heart. That's the driver you need and it's connected to COM7. Now if you haven't got that for some reason, just go to this website which is uh, uh, www.silabs.com sillabs or, or, or scilabs.com and you need to download this one here which is the Windows XP Server 2003 Vista 7.8. Download that and uh, install that and that'll be a driver. Now the next thing we need to do is we go back to the little GUI that we downloaded and we need to open it up and then we need to navigate into that directory. You've got all these files in there, don't worry about them. We need that directory there, the GUI. Double click it and then you can find one that says BLG tool. Double click that and execute it. Now we'll just get rid of that, make that full screen. Now we need to connect it. Now you can see here port 7. Now I know it's got connected to a port 7 so that's the one I want. Uh, if I try and connect to port 1, it won't work. So COM7 is what I want. And then I hit connect. Now you'll see the... Uh, takes a few seconds 
and then the gimbal is uh, hooked up and you can see all these numbers have all changed in the settings. You got the main, main settings, you got the pitch and you got the roll. So these are my numbers that I've got. Now, just so you know how to use these, just make sure that uh, on motor one, you've got this little reversed little um, direction ticked. And uh, when you go to the roll, you should have motor two with the reversed. Now, if you've got them messed up because you've put the wires in the wrong way, um, that could be half your problem. Now, so just make sure that motor one and motor two is uh, reversed there. Now, motor one is the pitch or the tilt, if you're gonna hook up the tilt. Now, these numbers, this uh, PWN, if you crank it right up, it's gonna put a lot of power to the gimbal motor and actually make it warm. And if you grab your P, oh, you can see my gimbal's just chucked a wobbly. No worries, don't panic. All you gotta do is hit defaults there. And once you hit defaults, it will load the factory numbers back into the board again. So don't panic. So let's just do that again. Um, I'm going to crank up my uh, PWM. You can really hear the, the, the gimbal vibrating now. And I'm going to crank this up. And it's just done a wobbly, a big wobbly. No problem. Hit defaults. And it all settles back down again. So now you can experiment a little bit. So what you can do is, you know, my maximum PWM for the pitch is on 26, but you can crank that up to uh, 30 if you want. And if you bring your, uh, your P up too high, you'll start to hear the, uh, the little motor vibrating. So you've got to pull it back a little bit. And also if you pull the P up, you might have to pull the D back or the D up. And the I, basically that just, um, if you push the I to a high number, it'll actually level the gimbal out a lot quicker um, if it gets knocked around by your finger or whatnot. But there's lots of uh, online tuitions about tuning these uh, gimbals, so uh, check them out. Now I'm just gonna go back to defaults again uh, because I just uh, messed around a little bit. Now whatever you do in the GUI is not going to be saved to the main board until you hit save and save to flash. So even if I just crank these numbers way up and my gimbal, as you can see, is going wobbly, just hit close and then connect again. Um, so if you're messing around with these numbers and your gimbal goes nuts, you've got two things you can do. You can hit defaults or you can hit close and reconnect again. So whatever you do will not be saved to the gimbal until you hit save and save to flash. And if you do that and uh, your gimbal's going nuts, just hit defaults again and uh, then you can start again. So basically these are my numbers. And I'm just going to get the, uh, the, uh, the phantom transmitter. And I'm going to turn the knob and you'll see my tilt is uh, working there. Now, if you go back to the first tab, which is called settings, you'll see if I click on the absolute, now when I start turning the gimbal, I've got full control. I can actually stop the gimbal anywhere I want. Um, and that's what that little... A box does. But I don't like that. I just like it to be either looking straight down or straight out. So I just unclick it and so now you can see the gimbal is uh, very fast to react. If you go back to the pitch here, you'll see down here on the RC channel I've got uh, minus 90 and minus 5. Minus 90 is telling the gimbal to look straight down and minus five is look straight out but down a little bit. If I just move this little number, you'll see, okay, so let's move it up to say 18. You can see the, the little GoPro is pointing up now. So that's what that does, that's your min and max. So I find if I just bring that back to uh, minus five uh, is pretty good for me and keep it on 90. See if I crank this to say 54, then it's not gonna tilt very far down, as you can see there. Um, and if I go all the way up to here, uh, let's say to 111, it's gonna go way, oops, it's gonna spin out actually. It's too much, so I'm just gonna bring that back to uh, 90 again. So I've got minus 90 and minus five for your pitch. And to connect your pitch up, well, that's another um, story. And you'll find lots of information uh, on this thread how to do that. Um, and then we go to the roll and this is how you can adjust your roll. So once again, 
if I just crank this up um, and pull the P up and you'll see my gimbal let's just do let's just send it crazy my gimbal is just completely out of control now it's just it's going nuts don't panic just hit default and it just settles back down again now if you want your numbers back what you were uh, when you first connected just hit close and then hit connect again so there's two ways of uh, getting out of trouble if you mess up hit defaults or just hit close and hit connect again and all my magic numbers are there so just experiment with your numbers you're quite happy to uh, use these numbers on my pitch I got 8 6 and 15 and 30 and minus 90 and 5 and on my roll I've got 18 6 and 20 and uh, 38 in fact let's just round that off to 35 um, if I go too far you can just uh, backspace and you get a zero so there's 35 now I've made a change I want to save that to the board so you've got to go save and then you've got to go save to flash and now those numbers are saved uh, to the board kind of thing um, and also down here on this first uh, tab on the settings if you hit start you can actually see these uh, numbers uh, information coming in um, that's about it I'm just going to close that and, and get out of that and we'll just go back uh, to the uh, website where are we here here we go here's uh, I've, I've put some information about how to uh, connect the tilt up basically if you've got everything set up correctly uh, your ground wire from the board uh, goes to the top of the F2 and the NASA inside the Phantom and the pitch wire goes to, uh, to the bottom and you have to get into your um, NASA assist software and uh, set up the uh, we'll turn the gimbal on and set up those numbers and on this uh, thread somewhere let me go back here uh, it may even be here let's have a look on this one uh, has a link posted it there we go he's uh, actually showing you pictures of how to set the tilt up and there we are in the NASA assist uh, you can see the numbers are there what he's got um, it's got uh, output frequency 400, turns the gimbal on, uh, 1000, 1000, negative 1000, negative 1000, 0, 0 gain, and uh, <clears throat> reverse the direction and the pitch is 0. So basically, you've turned the gimbal on, but the NASA is not given, going to give any information uh, to the gimbal, um, and it just turns that extra channel on for the, uh, the Phantom. Um, that's about it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that, and... Once again, if you uh, need help, there's lots of information all scattered through this uh, thread on the um, rcgroups.com. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.